with Jesus, Jesus is just the greatest of the great. And one thing that sets Jesus apart is he's the great intercessor. What does that mean? An intercessor is someone that stands between man and God in behalf of that person. Usually they do so in prayer. And Jesus is the greatest prayer warrior ever. In fact, it tells us that right now, since he, he came to earth and made disciples and died on the cross and rose again and, and then walked on earth for 40 days and ascended into heaven, what's Jesus been doing? We read in Romans chapter 8 that right now, Jesus is at the right hand of God interceding for us. He is praying on our behalf. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 says that he lives, he's living right now with the purpose of making intercession, praying for us. I don't know what you're going through right now, but you can be very encouraged that Jesus is praying for you. Now, I think it's insightful when we study what he prayed about because it's not what we always pray about. We pray about physical sickness and jobs and money and, and things like that. But Jesus prayed about, and he, he possibly prays for those things, but he prayed about things that have a more spiritual significance. In John chapter 17, his farewell prayer before he was crucified we read that he prayed four things for his disciples and for their disciples, which would be us. So this is what he was praying before he was crucified, and these things I think he's praying for us now. That we would live lives that glorify God. Answer Jesus' prayers today. Live a life that glorifies God. That we would be protected from the evil one. He hates us because he hates Jesus, and so he attacks us, and yet he prays that God would hold us in his hand and protect us. Be sanctified by God's truth. He's praying that we will read the Bible and believe it and apply it, that we may be sanctified, set apart, made holy through God's truth, that we may be set free from the truth that sets us. He's also praying that we'd be sent into the world. He said, I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, I'm asking you to protect them while they're in the world and send them into the world. We've been sent. We are apostles, sent ones, sent with a message as ambassadors to others to tell them about Jesus. These are things Jesus is praying about for your life this very day. This is what he's praying for your kids and your loved ones. And then in Luke chapter 22, there's also another very interesting prayer that same night, and he's praying for Peter. Now notice what he says in Luke chapter 22, verse 31 and 32. It says, the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. Now, interesting, he doesn't call him Peter. He calls him Simon. He's getting right to the heart. That's his true name, Simon. And he uses his name twice because this is important. He wants to get... Peter's attention. Simon, Simon, he says, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. Satan's wanting to tempt you, distract you, destroy you. Sift is, is a violent shaking. He wants to shake you up. Then what he listen to what he says, but I have prayed for you. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus can say of you today, I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. You're going to get shook up here. I'm going to be crucified. It's going to shake you up. You're going to fail. It's going to shake you up. But I prayed for you that you should have prevailing faith, that you won't lose your faith. Your faith would not fail. And when you've returned to me, you will strengthen your brethren. I pray for the resulting ministry. So think about it. Jesus is praying for you, knowing exactly the times and season when Satan's going to move to shake you up. He's praying that your faith would not fail and that you would use the experience to minister to others. What happened to Peter? Well, he did fail. He denied Jesus three times. And what about the resulting ministry? Well, that humbled Peter. He went from being arrogant and boastful to being humble and reliant upon God. And the next thing we know, we see Peter preaching and 3,000 people being baptized that day. He, 
Jesus' prayers got answered. I just want to encourage you today. Jesus is praying for you. And I also want to encourage you to pray like Jesus prayed for the people you love. Jesus is the great intercessor. Jesus is the greatest.